Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I had to do an update video here with this older version 2 EXB Creighton in order to show a fix that I found of how to update it to the newest version firmware of the Spectrum ESC. Previously had been unable to do this and I've run into a lot of problems. So now I've figured it out. Let me show you how it's done. All right, so first what I'll do is show you what it looks like when I've been putting this into the computer and trying to update it and what it uh, what tends to happen. So I'll plug it in and turn it on. And you can see it uploads. Then you just go over to firmware upgrade and B5.07 is the only option that it allows. All right, so it should say B5.12 as the latest option, and many people online are saying it's available, it's available, you can get it for your older models, um, and yet I log in and here we go. So I found out a way to fix this, and let me show you. So the problem lies with this Spectrum Smart Link Updater app here. And they have updated the internal components of it and haven't made that visible, haven't shared that widely, which is really silly. I don't know why um, Spectrum has done this, but they've updated something inside of it and it makes it work better for these newer firmware model um, versions. So what you need to do is completely delete the uh, updater app that you have if you're running into this problem, and then you need to reinstall it back at the same way that you've done it before. If you've uh, run into trouble doing that, um, or you don't know how, you can watch some of my other videos. I'll put a link in the description of how to do that where I run through step by step of just how to do it. But uh, if you already know, you would go into here and download it. And you can see that this shows version 1.1.0.0, which is the same exact version that I had before. So again, I don't know why they didn't rename it, but it's different. So I'll go ahead and download that. I've already deleted the old version of it. And I'll unzip this file, open it up, and we'll test it out and see if it's different. All right, so here we go. I've installed the new version of the Smart Link app here, and um, it still shows that uh, same version 1.1.0, but over here it shows a little difference, which is the uh, database, January 3rd, 2025. The other one was in December. So I guess if that's one way to check if you're version is out of date. Um, but at any rate, this should work according to the research there. So let's try it out. So we've got um, everything hooked up. Plug it in and turn on the car. It's going to load up and now we'll be able to see what options are available. There it is. B5.12. All right. So it also gives some other versions since then, B5.08, B5.09, and the 0.12 is the one we want. That's the one that updated from the version 6 Creighton Notorious and Everything else, the eight scale uh, newest ESC versions where it runs punchier and cooler. And that um, I can attest to on the V6 Creighton and Notorious. It's super punchy. Um, so now that I'll update this, we'll be able to see if it should give this the same advantage. So we got it all set. So we'll just upgrade and let it do its thing.
All right, we have success. It is now up to date with the newest version Creighton EXB. So that's a huge advantage and something I wasn't aware of when I made that last video comparing the two versions. Now that you can update the oldest version Creightons to match the V3, that's even less of a reason for me to want to buy that newest version. It's still a very cool truck, but um, uh, but if I can save the 800 bucks and make this pretty comparable, I'm going to go for that. So uh, just so you know, um, if those of you that don't have this little device, I'll put a link in the description. This thing is awesome. It's a smart ESC programmer version two. Um, it's not that expensive. I think it's like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, and that you can use to not only update the latest firmware, but also go in and more easily adjust things like this, like the punch setting, um, you know, whatever you want to put that to. You can uh, change the brakes, um, all that stuff. And uh, let's see, in this part, you oh, you can also change the BEC for the servo, all that. So it's pretty nice to just be able to quickly do this. Of course, you still have to plug it into the ESC and everything, but that doesn't take too long. So now what I'll try is hooking this up to the orange version of the Spectrum ESC to see if how high of a firmware version it'll get on that. All right, so now I've got it hooked up to this Arma Typhon that has the older orange version ESC in it. Again, 150 amp, um, just like the others, but older. And I have a strong suspicion that this is not going to be able to update quite as high as the black stealth version ESC, where it's got the B5.12. But we'll see if it gets any higher. And if it does, that would be actually pretty surprising and pretty cool. But uh, we'll see what happens. So I've got it all hooked up. The battery's on. Our battery's plugged in. And we'll see what happens. And there's the B5.01. And that's it. So that's the current version that it looks like I have on there. Um, still gives me the option to upgrade, but I don't think it's going to do anything. I'll try that. So this did finish upgrading here, and um, I'm going to just try it out again and see if that, even though it was the same version, if it allowed for any more upgraded uh, versions to come next. Go to firmware upgrade and nope, still the same. B5.01. So at any rate, get yourself a black one, update it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. All the comments and likes mean a lot. And you're helping the channel grow more than you know. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.